Hello Sagittarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your Love and Life reading focused on the first half of November from the 1st through the 15th. General as always, please keep that in mind throughout this reading and take from it what does not make sense for you. So let's begin Sagittarius and let's take a look at the current situation that you're dealing with. I'm going to be using the deck here by Fire Witch Tarot, What Went Wrong? So we're going to tackle some of the challenges first to see ultimately can it be fixed or are there any blockages that are standing in the way. So let's begin and see where this goes for you for the first half of November. Angels and spirit guides, please. What do we need to know for this love and life reading? All right, what went wrong? We've got regret. They regret ever doing you wrong, okay? So whatever these regrets are, this is already an indication that they didn't treat you right. They did something to compromise the integrity of the partnership okay and then we've got never telling you or them what's wrong that could go either way okay so maybe you guys just had some blocked communication here there could have also been unproductive conversations where you guys were holding back from really opening up fully to each other and you weren't you know just being able to tell each other what is wrong and that might have contributed to the issues in a relationship. It might have started off as something really small, but because you guys weren't dealing with something that could have been challenging the partnership, it turned into something bigger. Okay, let's add to that one last message here for Sagittarius. Current situation for the collective, please. X keeps coming in between. Okay, take that if it applies. If you have an ex-partner who is interfering in an existing partnership, or, you know, that could be the other way around also. If your partner has an ex who is trying to just drive a wedge between you and an existing partner. All right, so let's take a look and see what is going on with some tarot messages here. All right, let's see. I'm going to start with my tarot teacher deck here. Let's grab some clarifying messages. We've already got the star coming up in the reverse. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with an Aquarian here. You could also have Aquarius in your chart. So it is coming up in the reverse. So this is somebody who's feeling despair. They're feeling disconnected from you. They're definitely feeling very insecure. And it makes sense considering we do have the regret card right here. They regret ever doing you wrong. So this is causing them to feel this way. And maybe they recognize that they might have missed an opportunity to be with you, to work this out with you. They're feeling really insecure and maybe just life overall for this person. They feel like they don't have a sense of direction right now. They're feeling a little bit lost at this point in time. We do have the Two of Pentacles coming up as well. So this can sometimes be an indication of juggling. And if there was an ex that was coming in and causing drama, maybe your person was kind of in and out of the partnership, if that makes sense for you, and they weren't fully invested, maybe part of that was because they were trying to talk to their ex and at the same time talking to you. So there, there could have been that going on which created a definitely out of balance issue in this connection, ups and downs in the partnership. And we'll, we'll see, you know, what else ties into that. The six of swords, however, is focused on healing, which considering what's here and we're focusing on challenges first, what went wrong in the partnership, it does seem that you guys are able to transition away from all of this to be able to move forward and hopefully be able to work it out between the two of you. We've got the emperor coming in. So this represents the divine masculine right here. So it could have been the masculine who had an ex that was coming between the two of you. That is, if you are divine feminine watching for a masculine, could have been dealing with an Aries divine masculine as well. There's this need to deal with 
the stresses for sure of the partnership, the Ten of Wands and Wands representing fire. So Sagittarius, this could be you feeling this way, just overall overloaded with whatever is happening between you and your person, life stresses. This could be just you feeling burnt out right now and maybe you're feeling that your person just isn't making you a priority, that they're taking you for granted. You know, so take that if it applies. So let's go ahead and see what can be done to fix this because they've got regrets here. All right, so let's take a look and see what can be done to fix this. I'm going to pull from the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle. This is by Aqua Moonlight. So can it be fixed? Or are there any blockages that are standing in the way of you and this person? being able to fix this, to move forward, to come back together, if you guys are in separation. Okay, so let's add to this. First Sagittarius for this Love and Life reading, first half of November. We have clinging, interesting. And then we have misunderstood. Okay, so clinging, holding on, obsessing, watching that is really painting a very particular storyline here for some of you because this is here the x keeps coming in between you and a person so if you're dealing with a partner that has an x who's still clinging to them and obsessing over them maybe keeping tabs on your x watching them from a distance which is kind of creepy or maybe they're still following each other on social media, still interacting somehow, that could be a problem, you know, because it could also be your person who's kind of feeding this whole situation and just turning it into more drama, I feel. And then we've got misunderstood right here, lost soul victim mistakes. Maybe this is how they're causing you to feel as well, Sagittarius, that, that you, you are misunderstood, that you're feeling lost because of what's going on here between you and your person. But this could also be indicating the mistakes that they have made. Now look at this, guys. We've got influences. As you can see, it says dark attachments and third parties. We're seeing that in this reading, and that third party is the X that's getting in the way of you and your person really being happy here. So that can be a bit of an issue. So let's go ahead and clarify these messages with some tarot here. I'm going to use my Illuminated Star Tarot Volume 2. So I feel, because we've got third parties, exes, somebody's obsessed with you, watching you from a distance, still holding on perhaps to the hope that you guys can get back together, but that complicates things, especially if you're already in another partnership. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Sagittarius, for this Love and Life reading. So we've got a reverse card here, which is the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so right now, it's interesting because it's a missed chance in the reverse. Okay, and it's coming through with a very unstable foundation here. And remember the star card coming up in the reverse. Okay, so that's a missed opportunity. Miss chances, pretty much the same thing. And what this is an indication of for me, Sagittarius, is you and your ex had the opportunity to be together. And something clearly happened there where you guys had to go your separate ways. Something wasn't working there. There could have also been another third party situation in that relationship. And so now you've got an ex possibly who's wanting to create drama for you and somebody that you're already with, or maybe you're just starting to get to know somebody or you're interested in someone else. It could be so many different scenarios, but we do see here missed opportunities and missed chances. This is going to take time for you to see how this goes and how it's going to unfold in your life. Because the Seven of Pentacles, it's a gestation period. It's going to take a little bit more time to see how this is all going to play out. You know? 
we do have the king of pentacles coming in so this is a masculine who is stable we've got instability right here and then we've got stability coming in from the king of pentacles this could of course be one and the same person or it could be two totally different people it could be a past love and it could now also be focusing on an existing partnership especially if you happen to be divine feminine watching for a masculine who represents that king of pentacles for some of you your masculine could be an earth sign or they could have earth in their chart virgo capricorn or taurus this is one of my favorite king cards in tarot because the king of pentacles they're already very abundant in their life so many things that they have established and they're very prosperous and successful in love they really do have the capability to sweep you off your feet because they're looking for something long lasting this is somebody who's not going to get you involved in a third party situation they're here to offer you and the relationship stability so if this is the same person here which is a possibility for some of you guys maybe they've matured they've grown they're not the same person who was maybe in a third party or who hurt you however way that unfolded if it is a, a different person if this represents an ex for example and if this represents new love or somebody that you will end up connecting with later on down the line we've got the two of swords coming up next so i feel when it comes to the past whoever you have moved on from that there's this stalemate energy there's nothing going on there so if there were third-party situations, that's a thing of the past. It's no longer happening, I feel. Let's see what else here. What else do we need to know? So we've got outside influences and interferences from other people. We have the King of Cups. Divine Feminines. Okay, so I, I'm kind of feeling this for some of you, that you were involved in a third-party situation. Could be a water sign, could be an earth sign. Or they have those signs in their chart. But if you were involved in a third party, and that's not going to be any, everybody's story, but it's just what's coming through here. If you were involved in that type of situation, it could be this third party, whoever that is, that's still clinging on to you or desiring you from a distance as you can see obsessed they're obsessed they've got their eye on you they're watching you somehow even though you might have distanced yourself and ended things and went your separate ways and you might have already moved on to another relationship there's someone here that's keeping tabs on you from a distance it could be an ex or it could be a third party whoever that is but we do have somebody here who really has captured your heart that two of cups is somebody that you love this is somebody that you see yourself building a future with a very happy connection mutual attraction you guys are both into each other look at this guys we've got three kings coming in here king of swords king of pentacles king of cups so this to me has a lot to do with outside interference it could even be more than three people here okay i'm getting perhaps we have a feminine who had a lot of choices in love and romance and maybe undecided in who it is that you know they wanted to be with and therefore just making not the best choices let's put it that way because we've got third parties here so something that should be involving just two people ended up involving so many other people we might have a situation here where you were both involved with other people But as you can see here with that devil card, you could also be dealing with a Capricorn here. This is very addictive, obsessive behavior with that devil. And then we've got the clinging, obsessing, watching, unhealthy attachments. That is what the devil card can sometimes indicate. 
So I feel someone is still checking you out. Again, it could be an ex. It could have been somebody that you were involved with outside of your relationship. Could have been a third party. There's someone here that can't seem to let you go. And this pretty much confirms what's been going on. Seven of Swords. Okay, betrayal, deception, cheating. There's a lot of masculine energy here. So it could be the feminine who cheated on a masculine here. If it's reversed gender-wise for your situation, then absolutely take it that way. But I've got three kings on this table. So it could have been a third or fourth party situation, but somebody ended up getting hurt here and there was betrayal. And we do have the temperance card, okay? So Sagittarius, this is your own energy right here. It's going to take time when we've already seen that with the seven of pentacles right here. That's a wait and see card. It's going to take time because the temperance card is about having patience for something to transpire, to restore balance. And if you're feeling out of balance, you might have contributed to why things are playing out that way in your life. Temperance card represents Sagittarius. So this is something very significant for you and your life, something that you've been through. So either you created this situation with infidelity, deception, betrayal, cheating, or you were the victim of it. It depends. You know, it really depends on how it makes sense for you. And that's why it's a general reading, because it can apply to so many various scenarios. Okay, so that's where I'm going to leave this one. It seems rather complicated, I must say. And if this resonates with you, if you'd like to check out the second half of this reading, I'm going to go ahead and focus on future energies for this connection. I'm going to have it available on my Patreon page. Of course, I will have all of that info down below in the description box. Taking a look at future energies, is there a possibility for reconciliation, a possible union, and the hidden truths of this connection? What is it that needs to come to the surface that you might not even be aware of? We'll go ahead and grab some dialogue messages representing the masculine and the feminine and grab some overall advice from your angels. So if that's something that interests you, please head over there to my Patreon page. I'd love to see you over there. And that's it for now, guys. Thank you so very much, as always, for tuning in. And if you're interested in your own reading, that information is down below. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you real soon.